<laughs> man, I'm built for this shit, man. I ain't man, listen, man. Y'all know Stack, man. My motherfucking brother, Michael Rappaport. Love you, bro. That is my Jewish brother. And he knows me. And he knows where I stand. Shout out to Mike Rappaport, man. I love you, bro. You already know what time it is. I hate I had to explain myself to people, but some people don't know me like you do, Mike. Some people don't know me like you do, bro. They expect the worst from me, but I ain't gonna give it to them. We supposed to be rapping in the locker room around this time, Mike. No big three. No big three. Money Mike. I got it. my boy Mike, man. Mike be busy, man. I'm gonna get Mike on my live one day, man. So me and Mike can wrap it up. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to find my scissors. Yeah, Mike funny as hell. Mike is hilarious. I won't, Mike. I ain't going to let it get me unfocused, Mike. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. I'm still I'm still standing for everybody. I know I, I know I know what what was trying to be done, Mike, but you know I know what it is, bro. You know I know what it is, Mike. Let me know when you're ready, Mike. We going to get on live, baby. I got to get you on here, man. My 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 people asking asking about you. They are asking for you. Let me know what day is good for you. Ladies and gentlemen, what's happening? All my people. What's the word? Y'all good out there? Y'all good out there? All right, Mike, appreciate you, my brother. No, no, no. You can't control the narrative on Stack 5, man. Stack 5 love everybody and everybody know it. Much love, Melo. Appreciate all the love, man. Hey, man, y'all don't know. I appreciate all y'all, man. All the support. All the love that's in here. Till, what up, Till? Much love to y'all. Appreciate everybody in here right now. All 600 y'all that's showing love. Appreciate it, man. Much love. Glad. Now the positivity coming back to my page how it's supposed to be. All right? That's how it's supposed to be right now. Now my page is coming back to normal. Now my page is coming back to normal. Okay, there we go. All right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that now nah, okay, now my page is back to normal. All the people, okay, they understand the real stack. Okay, now they coming back to normal. All 600 of y'all. If y'all want, y'all can roll up with me. I'm going to go live with a couple people. You know what I'm saying? Say, man, I'm not your average, bro. I don't run from nothing. I deal with everything. 
What you see with me is what you get. I'm not going to be something you're not for TV. I'm the same person I am on TV as I am sitting here right here in my movie room. I love all y'all. I'm going to stand for all y'all. I'm going to smoke my weed. I'm going to be human. I'm not going to come to y'all as if I'm bigger than y'all or I'm lower than y'all. We are the same. We equal. We both human beings, right? If I was ashamed of smoking weed, or if you ashamed of smoking weed, why do it? And y'all fuck with me because I'm a real one, because I'm giving y'all my real art of y'all back. So roll up some people in. We're going to chop it up. Y'all can ask me what y'all want to ask me. And we're going to rock out because I am the people's champ, regardless what they say. I'll link in the bio. Go get your shirt and support the movement. You dig? I love all y'all. White, blue, black, Jew, Chinese, Arabian, whatever color you is, I love you, bro. I ain't got no reason to hate you. Hey, okay, hold up. And this is what I'm going to start doing. Hey, y'all see what I just posted? Can y'all please educate him on what I didn't say it already? Because I'm not saying it again. Can somebody please educate him on what I said already? And that I, and that I don't hate Jews. Can y'all please explain that to him that we talked about that already? Y'all explain that to him. I'm going to take a couple puffs of my blunt. Then I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna catch somebody in, but y'all help him out real quick. Danny Danny I David don't he didn't get it, he missed it. So y'all help him out. Already apologized, bro. You late. Well, I got some loyal followers. I got some loyal followers, man. I love y'all, dog. Y'all riding for the kid. I love y'all. I'm not gonna block them, dog, because that don't that don't do nothing. Sometimes it's a conversation for people to get under to get an understanding. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't got nothing to run from, cause I don't hate Jews. So they can come on my page with all that, and we gonna and and, and I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a force feed them with love, so they know that the, the rhetoric. That So they know that the, the rhetoric that they're trying to uh, they they're trying to get out there is not real. I'm gonna block them. My people, I love y'all. I love how y'all defending me because y'all know I don't stand like that. Y'all know y'all know I don't move like that, and I appreciate y'all having my back, man. That mean the world. That's why I'm gonna keep fighting for y'all. Never said I hate Jews, bro. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna let him ruin the live. I'm okay. Let's let's get let's get back to the party. I right. I'm from the click on uh somebody to chat. Who want who want to ask some questions, man? I click in somebody to talk to him for a second. my friend what's up how are you i'm doing well how are you i'm pretty good where are you i'm in california in cali how's the weather out there all right it's beautiful right now it's actually i i woke up when i was watching your live this morning and then like got my ass out of bed and went on a hike right up there right north got, of Japan. i want to say thank you for your support i've been seeing your dms oh, and i've been seeing your messages huh. you don't i mean it it it, it never it would never go unappreciated because, like I said, I didn't ask to be in this position, but I know I'm leading it from the heart. And like I said, I've seen a lot of your messages. So your support means a lot to me. Thank you very much. I'm glad. I, I don't need the recreation, but, or recreation. I'm sorry, that's the wrong word. <laughs> <laughs> but um, well, props or whatever for it. It just it yeah. comes from the heart, man. Like, for real, though, it's just... I grew up in a very, a very small community of majority white people. And 
where I grew up, it was, you didn't really know the black community unless you watch the news, right? Or you watch TV. I was born in 85, so, right? And um, then I get a little bit older and I moved all over the world. I've lived all up and down the West Coast, lived in Western Small for a while, and it, it just kind of changes your perspective on things, right? And so then yeah. I started having health problems and I started like looking into the history of everything, uh, the world, human beings. And all, I grew up very religious and all that. And once you start looking into actual history and like lear learning history from the perspective of actual humans that living through it, other than just like the people that are the winners of history who write it, right? It, it kind of, if it doesn't change your perspective, you have no empathy and no, no care about anything in the world, you know? Right, right. And, I'm still trying to find my way of educating people that I love and I know and I grew up with, you know, but we all are so though. angry. <laughs> we all are, you know what I'm saying? All right? And we're I'm all, white, we're not all learning. angry and it's only we're been so learning. long, I can't imagine. We're all learning and we're all trying to educate and get to the same place, you know what I'm saying? And a lot exactly. of people just have to understand everything is really just a conversation to exactly. get understanding. Mm -hmm. It's not rocket science. It, it's just it, take, and people got to stop. People have to stop uh, listening to reply instead of listening to understand. We have a problem that. with that. I wrote that down. I, I, I loved when you said that. That's that's a great line right there for real. That that defines so much. Especially in this today and age with all of the, the live and the the tweeting and the Instagram and the Facebook. I can't imagine being a kid right now on the YouTube. Like, oh yeah. my God, if you recorded me as a child the things I did stop. Right. No. Right. Right, right, right. Right? This is no. I don't want those recorded. Like, there's enough recordings of me as a child doing stupid things. Like, right. no. <laughs> it just, it, um, no, but for real, what's, what's been for me is just educating myself. And for real, honestly, too, as well, is your, your twin who was murdered right here, what pissed me off the most is uh, he's on the ground for, for that long with a neck on his throat, I can't, I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe for how fucking long all while like what people are getting mad at the people that are standing there watching. What were they supposed to do? The, the girl who was recording, it was what, 17 years old. And then there's all like, these conspiracy like if, theories. If, huh? if you wasn't related to him, like me, yeah. I would put my life on the line for him. Cause that was, that was my would. twin. That was the closest I mean, point I ever have. But you can't expect those people who don't know him to just jump out there and put their lives on the line. You can't expect them to. Some people are selfless like that. Four police officers? Like, come on. And that, I, I would have, honestly, I would have done that for a stranger, though, because that's just the kind of person I am. I, I, I just, I would like to say that because, honestly, I think I would if I ever witnessed that because... I don't, I don't enjoy guns. I don't, I don't, I just, I'm not that kind of person. I grew up all around that and I'm, it's not, it's just, I just, I feel like human lives matter more than what humans acknowledge that they matter. Right, right. Human, human beings try to talk like, oh yeah, I could kill someone. And then it's like, could you though? And then once you kill someone, it's like, you have to live with that for the rest of your life. Right? Ain't no coming back from that. No, there's not. And people refuse to acknowledge that. And people say like, oh, I'm going to join the military because I want to go and have all these guns and fight and shoot people. And it's like, what? I, no, I, and then what I, happens I, when they come I just back? Agree. Somebody, hit me with, somebody hit me with a car, knocked all my teeth out, and I had a gun and I actually tried to kill them. I have nightmares about that still. I bet you do. So, so, so I, don't put, I don't wish that on nobody. No, I would not as well. I was, I was brutally raped when I was 16 years old. And... I don't wish that upon anyone, but I was also very drunk. And I thought that I, all the things that I had learned and I taught, like I literally, it took me a long ass time to realize it wasn't my fault and I did not deserve that. And that's sad, right? Like yeah, that's no, just something so going through traumatic experiences like that is something that led me to becoming who I am today. Right. So then, you know, everybody has their life experiences. Everyone has their most worst experience they ever went through. And I feel like those should all be equal. I don't feel like, 
it could it could be literally barely any, like my sister my sister her worst experience is ridiculous and I, I honestly can't even it's just it has something to do with her kid and I'm like oh my god yeah okay that's horrible I feel so bad for you but it's like I can't judge you for that like I don't to her face and I would never do that to her face and I would never do it anyways it's just you know what I mean yeah everyone has that feeling of experiencing their worst experience right in their own way right I yep. feel like that is the best way to be able to empathize with people. Like, I will never know what it's like to be black. And I never try to say that I would ever know what it's like to be black. Yeah, you know, I just, I try to empathize as much as I possibly can. Well, I, I, I appreciate you, man. Like I said, I, I, I thank you for your support. Um, I, I, I hope that you continue to support me and uh, hope we'll talk again soon, my friend. Always. Have a great day. All right, you too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Appreciate all y'all, man. Let's see. Oh, boy, I thought my girl was on here. I was about to call my girl. Y'all look at my girl Ellen ain't on here no more. I was about to plug my girl Ellen in. Let's see if she on here. Yeah. G. What up, man? Been a long time, man. How you doing, bro? Good, good. It's been a while since I connected with you, since I did them push-ups with you, bro. Yes, sir. Everything good with you? Yeah, man. Just just listening to you, man, and take notes every day, man. Shoot. Every time you speak, bro, it's just a teaching session for me, bro. You, hey, like, you, you, got, you got your homeboy that was with you last time in the car with you again? No, nah, I was by myself last time. Uh, uh, nah, you, uh, didn't, didn't you have a white guy in the car with you? What, the night we was doing push-ups? That wasn't you? No, nah, that was me, but I was by myself. Oh, okay, I, I, no, no I, I'm thinking of the guy from Philly. It was the guy from Philly that I just uh -huh. did. And he did some push-ups with me, but he had, a, he had a guy in the car with him. I thought that was you for a second. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, because I was the one that pulled over. Man, yeah. I was on the interstate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, remember, I, yeah, I pulled up, and everybody behind me was like, yo, what is he doing? I said, yo, I got to get these push-ups there, bro. Forget y'all. Yeah, you, I remember now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How you been, though, G? Man, I'm blessed, man, trying to continue to keep this thing going. How you? Hey, man, I'm just trying to live, man. Shoot, young and just taking notes, man. So I, I, I appreciate you on the live earlier with, uh, what was the guy name? You kept calling him B. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I do have a question for you because you, you do a lot of speaking. So, like, how do you, when you're doing all these interviews, is there always something you learn from it? Or, like, because you're going off the top. Like, you know, they ask you questions, but it's like every interview, it's like you never skip a word of what exactly to say on those interviews to make sure you're still on point with every interview. You know what I'm saying? I think – it's just a gift that God blessed me with to be able to speak and, 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 and to, to be able to, I can go to the hood and talk that talk. You feel yeah, yeah. And I can go on TV and talk how and give them to them how it's supposed to go. So we, so they can understand it and we can understand it. And that's the gift I have. A lot of people, a lot of people that work on TV, only one, one demographic can understand them. When I, everybody can understand me. And that's just a gift God gave me because I've been, I've been, I come from the slums. And I've seen success too, but I've never. I, but I've remained the same person the whole time. I ain't never changed at all. So right. when I I can speak for both sides. So I'm just giving them something that they ain't never seen, bro. You know what I'm saying? And 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 it's raw. It ain't nothing practice. Obviously, I educate myself. I do my homework and I study a lot of stuff. But at the same time, it's all a gift. Right. 
and, and, and I'm just doing everything from the heart. And I got confidence in myself, bro. And that's the biggest part. As long as you got confidence in yourself, it's going to come out all right. Yeah, because it, it's funny because, you know, uh, me and RJ talk a lot. And uh, it's like I'm the point, man, like, I'm the pull like I'm 26, bro. So like I'm not the quick to jump out there. Like when people say who want to ask questions, like I'm gonna ask questions. What I've been paying attention to, like, cause I like I said, bro, it's it's kind of tough, and I respect you a lot because you're doing a lot of talking for for uh on a lot of platforms, bro. So all I can do is when I see you on live or see you do this or you make announcements, all I do is I just listen, bro, cause I I don't. I don't feel like I'm in that place where I need to speak on a whole lot. I'm just, you know, I'm just learning from you and learning from everybody who's been here long on, on this earth longer than I have. You feel what I'm saying? Man, well, let me so, tell you, I'm learning too. I don't have all the answers, and I don't know, I don't know at all. But I'm learning too. But I'm leading with my heart, and nine out of ten times, my heart gonna lead me in the right direction. Right. You know, and people that know me, that know me. They know I stand for everybody and I love everybody and I don't have no hate in my heart. And everybody that I came across in my life know that. So that's why so many people following me. And being in this position, I know that it's, going, it's people coming after me. I'm getting death. I've been getting death threats since my first interview about my brother. Wow. You know what I'm saying? My girl getting death threats. But I, know, but I know I'm built for this shit. And I know why. Because they've never seen a black man with no college education stand up and have 18 countries in all 50 states protest with him for justice and equality. They scared of that. All races. They've never seen that before. So I know what I'm doing is going to offend a lot of people, but I'm built for it, bro. And I yeah. and thank believe in. You got everything in you right now, my brother, to be successful and to achieve anything you want to achieve in your life. It's in you already. You don't have to get out that car and have somebody put pat you on the back or put a battery in your back for you to feel like you can be all you can be, bro. You got it in you right now as you on live with me. Don't let nobody yeah. tell you different. Yeah, like I said, Stack, you know, and I appreciate you chiming in with me, man, because it's like, it's like every day, man, it's like you give me the confidence. Like, when you be like, when you be, you be speaking your mind, bro, you be like, man, I just, it's just like you wish somebody to set you up so you could just speak your mind, then they'll know where you're coming from. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you it's, you can't be quiet no more, bro. Like, you got to, watching you, bro, nah, ain't, ain't no, you can't be quiet no more, bro. Nice. You got you to gotta <laughs> speak. Like, you just got to tell it like it is, bro. I mean, it, that's what I learned from you. Like, it could be, you can talk about anything, bro. I'm always learning, like, okay, he's speaking on this. Okay, this is how he responded. Because every time you do your interviews, bro, it's like you, you ain't nervous. You ready to go. I ain't scared, bro. I, and, and that's the thing. I'm not scared. Some things that I say might not come out correct, and it might, it might, and, and, it might, and people might twist my words. But everything I'm saying, I know my heart is right. You know what I'm saying? And I know what right. I'm doing right. And then again, what people don't, what, what people are fail to realize and not highlighting, people not realizing what I'm risking. People not realizing the time that I'm missing for my kids fighting for something bigger than me. People don't realize I'm spending all my money flying from state to state doing all this stuff. You right. dig what I'm saying? Yeah. But I don't want no credit for that because I know at the end of the day, when I die, my life meant something. My brother George Floyd, his, his life going to mean something. And I'm fine with dying for that. I'm fine with dying for my people. I, I don't feel comfortable living here knowing that my people are being mistreated, dog. Right. Knowing I had a great life. Knowing I'm sitting in a nice house. I can't live like that, bro. Yeah, I feel you. I can't live yeah. like that. If I have a chance to affect something, if I have, mm -hmm. have a chance to affect change in any type of way, I'm going to die behind it. Yeah, I respect you on that. Like I said, I want to give a shout out to uh, Paul Boy too, man. I don't know him personally, but I've been paying attention to what he be saying. Like, I remember that night when y'all was on live, you and him was on live with each other, and he was speaking how it was when he was in the hood and stuff like that. So, like I said, man, I'm always listening, bro. It's like, and then I appreciate you too because you you telling all you giving all the business out. Some some people are real private and stuff, but you actually you throwing everything out there for it to be a teacher moment. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you on that too, because I mean a lot of people don't 
they private. They don't want to tell all their business. But every chance you get, stay when you're on live, bro, you always telling it everything. So I'm like, man, I appreciate that, bro. Man, what what you say is what you get with me, man. I always feel free to chime in, bro. I'm going to continue to pray for you, bro. Make, make sure you stay in touch, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I'm, I'm going to hit you on your DM because I got some stuff coming up, and I want your support. So uh, you don't mind that. Nah, just hit me up and let me know. All right, and then also, before we leave, how the family doing? Gigi, uh, Tammy, Tammy yeah, little, little, the queen. <laughs> ask you, man. Everybody doing good. Gigi was just out here, and Roxy was just out here. They back in Houston now, man, but she's slowly picking her spirits up, man. We doing everything I can, we can to keep her happy, bro. Thanks for asking. Hey, no problem, man. Just real recognize real, man. That's all, man. Yes, sir, bro. All right, bro. I hit you up, bro. All right, have a good one, dog. All right, later. Peace. Hold up, y'all. Let me find somebody else. SJ, what's good? What's good, SJ? Where we at? 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 What's up, man? My God, what's good, my brother? I'm good, man. How you doing these days? Everything good? Man, I'm blessed, man. Uh, you know, just uh, taking it day by day, trying to continue to do the right thing. What's your name? My name's David. David, nice to meet you, bro. So can I tell you a story real quick? Talk no, to No him. controversy here, just truths. So we sure. live different We live different lives. I grew up in New York City. I lived here my whole life, privileged life, 100%. Went to private school, the whole thing. Um... Jewish, families, Israeli, the whole thing. Travel there all the time, been there all the time. But I'm also an individual, right? Just like you. We all individuals. So I protest with Black Lives Matter in New York. I live near where the mayor lives. So I go to his mansion on Thursday, Thursday night. I was there recently, just at protests and stuff like that, because I believe in it, obviously. Black Lives Matter is just fucking common sense. Sorry the language, but it's common sense, right? <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Yeah, it's common sense. Everyone deserves equal rights, right? regardless of race, religion, anything. So, and you preaching that hard and it's respected among every person who has a brain, right? But at the same time, like, and not to harp on it, but any means, but like when you defend something that someone said about a person like Hitler, it, it just for a moment draws into question of like, well, I believe what you're preaching. I believe that what you're saying is the truth. Black lives matter. All people deserve to be equal rights, right? That's fact. And you also need to realize that, like, the words you're saying are obviously, like, under a microscope. Like you said, everyone's twisting your shit, which is unfair to you. But at the same time, like, words can hurt people. And, like, I think that's what – it was not your intention, but those words still hurt. And I don't think they're facts. I don't think that quote is facts. We all individuals, not all people are the exact same. Right? And just like, they're bad white people. These cops are terrible people. They're white people, right? They're terrible, but they're also good people that are protesting with you. So we can't lump everyone into one category. And that's what's difficult about all this stuff is, is breaking out the good individuals and taking them away and realizing, hey, they're good people too, but they're also terrible people. Right. And that's the struggle I have with, 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 the kind of live you did the other day. That's just the trouble I had with it. But I get what you're saying also that we all need to be in this together. And Jews are also a minority. I mean, we've been oppressed before. We continue to be. Anti-Semitism is still rampant in this country and across the world. You know that. And I understand Black Lives Matter is what's going on right now. And we need to keep that going on because it's extremely important. But let's not step away from the fact that others are feeling this as well. Mm -hmm. Acknowledge it. Like, let's focus on this Black Lives Matter because this is a moment and we need to harp on it and we need to focus on it. Huh? But let's also not take away from the fact that other people are feeling it as well. I agree. Yeah, so that's that's why it upset us. Let me, let me personally. say this to you. One, I've never dis displayed any type of hate to any race my whole life. I agree. And, and then can nobody say different. So... If the way I 
started off my response to a conversation that me and uh, d -Jack had. And if it offended you in any type of way, I'm a man right now. I apologize. I appreciate that. But, 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 and to, and to every Jew on my live, I apologize. But one thing about it, you have to know me to know that I wouldn't say nothing like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't mind apologizing, but I'm, I'm, I'm cool with apologizing because I know you don't know me. Yeah. So and I don't. And, and, I, and I'm willing to give that. I would, ne I would never say nothing like that or support anything like that. Yeah, and you got you got I, I, people in the comments po commenting all the shit like that, just like the the stuff that is against what you're saying, right? Right. People talking about how like Jews are terrible, shit like that. Um, posting Palestinian flags, which is whatever. Like, you got people doing that, and I know that's not you, right? It, that's not what you believe. And that you can never say that came out my mouth ever. No, damn right, it never came out your mouth, and it didn't. But I'm just saying, like from a perspective from my perspective that's why it hurt and i'm not i'm just trying to be honest with you because like how else are we gonna fix shit right right yeah that's why i don't mind getting on live bro because because like i said if, if 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 people knew me then they knew i wouldn't do that you know what i'm saying i i i, I tell them about a story about a guy named josh pastner who was a coach with georgia tech and people need to look up that story and they'll know me but you know i don't mind clearing it up you know what i'm saying because i i i deal with everything with my head up chest out you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm I'm glad you was able to get on here, bro. And we got we was able to get an understanding, and because um, I'm gonna continue to fight for equality. I'm going harder. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They knew a lot of people knew what I was speaking on about how they handled the coop and and Deshaun Jackson situation is different, and they was trying to deflect from that and make it seem like I hate Jews, which never came out of my mouth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and and, and I know how they try to twist stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I'm fine with apologizing for the people that, that, that took my words the wrong way. And I'm fine with explaining myself because I know what's going on. Yeah. And as long as you explain yourself, then ain't got no hard feelings, right, man? Because you believe in equality for all. And that's what matters. Sir. I wish I had a blunt with me, man. I could help with you. No, nah, that's all good, man. I appreciate you locking in. I'm going I'm to get somebody else in here, bro. Enjoy yourself, man. Be real. What's up, bro? SJ in here going live.